Hello guys, as was promised, I am bringing you Rag to Riches with Olama support. Rag to Riches is a production ready framework for retrieval augmented generation. Retrieval augmented generation simply means that you give context of your own data to large language models because all of these LLMs have been trained on a general data. They are not aware of your personal information or your company's information. If you want to glean intelligence from your personal documents or your business documents, you need to implement a RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. In the RAG process, we first convert our own text or whatever data there is to numerical representation after chunking it, splitting it, and then we store it in a database called as a vector store. From that vector store, whenever a user asks a question from LLM, we retrieve the similar numerical representation vector or data and then augment it with user's question and send it to LLM for context to the LLM for our own data. And then that is how LLM becomes aware of our own data. Now, there are a lot of frameworks out there and we recently covered this rack to riches with the help of OpenAI. If you search my channel, I did a video on it with detailed architecture and how to build a flexible rack pipeline. But that is with the paid option of OpenAI. If you don't want to use OpenAI, then another option is to use Olama, which enables you to run large language models locally very easily. If you don't know how to install it, installation is very simple. I already have covered it on my channel, but just to give you a quick overview, all you need to do is to click on this download and then just select your operating system. And for example, for Windows, just download the exe file and then click next, next, next. For Linux, all you need to do is to run this command to get it installed and that's about it. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, we are going to install RAG to riches with the help of Olama and then we will also see how can we do the RAG pipeline. Before I show you the installation, let me give you a huge um, introduction to Mast Compute who have done a wonderful job of sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and I will also give you a discount coupon of 50% on a range of GPUs. Highly recommended. I have been using them. Awesome stuff. Okay, having said that, let's go to our local system and then we will get cracking. Let me move over to my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04. And I am using this NVIDIA card of RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Also, I already have Olama installed. So if I do Olama list, you will see that Olama is already running on my system. And I already have Llama 3 8 billion. So once you install the Olama like I showed you, if you want to run a model, all you need to do is just do this Olama run or pull. You can do the run to run it or pull to just download it and then model's name and it is going to download the model for you. That's about it. Now, as I told you earlier, then the rack pipeline, you would need to store your numerical representation into a vector store. There are heaps of vector stores out there. For this video, the default for R2R or rack to riches is Postgres SQL. So we are going to install Postgres first and then in order to enable a vector functionality, we would need to install and activate the PG vector, which is a vector extension for vector store in Postgres. So let's get started. First up, let's install Postgres. Installation of Postgres is quite simple. All we need to do is to run this command with sudo and it is going to install it. And don't worry about these commands. I'm going to put all of these commands in my blog and I will drop the link in video description along with R2R's repo. So next step, you need to install this APT. Just press enter here and it is going to install it. And these are the only two commands which you need to install Postgres SQL. It's quite lightweight RDBMS and open source tool. Let's clear the screen. So we have installed Postgres. Now, in order to install PG vector with Postgres, all you need to do is to do this. Press Y here. And it is going to install the PG vector for you.
let's wait for it it will take too long now and that is done let me again clear the screen and now we need to enable um, the pg vector and this is how you can log into the postgres and once you are logged in simply create the extension by typing create extension vector and that is done so that is all we needed to do in order to quit from postgres just simply type slash q and we are outside of postgres now so postgres is installed and we have also enabled the extension for vector store let's also enable the postgres on our system level by system ctl that is done and you can also start the postgres service if it is not already started and that is all done and tested so our vector store is all installed and now we need to create a database within the postgres which we will be using as a vector store so let's clear the screen let's log in to postgres again so first up let's create a user i'm just going to create a dummy one i'm just going to call it my user and i have just created the role for it that is fine let's we also have defined the password let's also create a database i'm calling it my database that is done and let's grant all privileges to this database to your user and that is also done so now we have our username password and the database name let's quit and set all of these values as environment variable that is needed for r2r and before we set that let's also go to my home directory and then here you can just create a new directory r2r and then let's cd to it i already have created it just to save you the time and then from here let's activate the conda environment if you don't know what conda environment is i already have done heaps of videos which you can check also you can check in my other video it's simply a virtual environment if you don't want to do it you don't have to run this step so i already have created it with conda create command i'm just activating it okay, so it's not here let's activate the r2r1 I, and you can give it any name you like that is done and let's set some of the environment variables here like i'm setting it all of postgres user password host port and db name this is a default port of postgres that is done now once that's done you would need to create a local olama file let me also show you so just do touch local underscore olama and it will create the above file i already have it as you can see so if i show you this file these are the contents of these files which integrate r2r with olama and we will be installing r2r shortly so first create this file and here you put an embedding embedding and vectors are the same thing so we are telling it that these are the default model for the vector and then this is the local provider and these are the things which we are not including because r2r doesn't support multimodality at the moment so you can't do the rag with images or video or audio you can only do it with that and don't worry about it i am going to put this file in my blog and i will drop the link in video description as i mentioned earlier with the commands let's clear the screen and now let's install r2r so i am just installing it with dash capital u which is going to also upgrade it if it is already present so let me press enter here and it is going to install everything let's wait for it to finish and that is done let me clear the screen and now let's also pull some of the models from olama so for this one i'm just saying it olama pull llama 2 you can use any model you like for embedding model i'm using mx by large and then i'm serving the olama so let's wait for it to download the model because for inference we need olama 2 for embedding we need a separate model they're not that big and you can see that almost it's already done let's wait for it and models are downloaded and now it is verifying the checksum and models are downloaded and you can ignore this last error because it is saying that all olama is already running you can verify it by running olama list you can see models are downloaded now let's clear the screen so that is the whole installation in order to run r2r with olama 
now you can embed this framework within your own pipeline and or you can just simply call this config local llama by using their quick start with in, uh, ingesting the files so this command is just going to download some or use the files from their own repo if you want to use your own file your own files you can point it to your own files so that's pretty much it and once you run your, your pipeline you will get some result like this where it is going to check the llama provider go you know go the uh, check out all the similarity search and then it is going to return you the results if there are any so all in all the process is a bit cryptic i would say that you would need to set up your own vector store but once you get it running with llama it's all free it's all easy you can um, run it with any vector store of your choice too it is quite flexible but what i have read in their report they are still i think working on this local modalities so if you are my um, observation is that if you want to implement it in production don't go with olama at the moment with r2r use openai it works really well with openai at the moment but i'm more than sure in the coming months i should say two three months i think this product project if they keep working on it should be a really good one with olama and we will revisit it to see if they have improved this uh, open source local modalities and also local models or it is still um, in this stage so all in all a good project i think they just need to make sure that they adapt it more towards uh, olama and improve this improve this because this seems quite rudimentary at the moment but open ai is one really good that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this project and if you have been using it uh, share your experience if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching